Hi, it's Mike Upton with Kala. We've got a U-Base here that we're going to string up. These polyurethane strings stretch quite a bit and it can be a challenge um, as you're putting them on, but here's what I've discovered is a, a good way to put them on and, and we're going to pre-stretch them a little bit. So here's the E-string. I'm going to wrap it around the post as you can see and then bring it, bring it through the slot and then begin tuning it up. Pre-stretching it helps you to uh, not have to be winding just tons of string on the post. And As a matter of fact, we don't want a lot of string on the post, and I'll tell you why in a second. Uh, here's the A-string. So what I do with the A-string is I, I line that slot up so it's kind of uh, pointing towards the corner there. I take it, stretch it, keeping my right elbow, keeping the base down. I'm wrapping this around once and then pulling it through. And I've put quite a bit of tension on that, so then I don't have that far to go to get up to the note. It's almost at the note right there, and I've got plenty of room to uh, put more winds on here. So I just slipped that up towards the top. Now with the D string, this one's a little, a little different because it's a smaller diameter, so we want to straighten this slot up. Again, anchor the base with your elbow. Now we want to pull this one with our left hand through. And what's different about this is I'm going to hold it with my left hand, and then I'm going to grab it back here, and I'm going to bring it around. You can see me bring it around half of the post, and then put it down. Now while still holding it with my left hand, I'm going to start turning this and we're going to get one turn on here. And I want to help that up and then I want to bring this string down below that first wrap so it secures the string. Now I can let go and now it's it's already held in there and already I've got quite a bit of I'm almost close to being up to pitch. And I don't have a lot of windings on here because what we found is if you get too much string wound on here towards the bottom, it'll bind up and bunch up down here and it actually inhibits you from turning the machine head. It'll bind the, the knob so you're, it's harder and harder to turn. We've even had people snap this string post because it, of the tension down there and they keep turning it and then it snaps. So remember we want to pre-stretch these strings. The G-string, actually what we do is we put a little uh, loop in it like so, and then stretch this, again, keep your elbow down, um, and then we just wrap it right through the slot. I'll try to keep my hands out of the way. Put it right through the slot like that, and then begin your tuning. Now, again, since they're polyurethane, they just continue to stretch, so, you know, don't be alarmed at that. That's what rubber does, and you'll have to tune this base up quite a bit at the beginning, and then once those strings stretch out, you'll find that they, they'll stay in tune fairly nicely. So, the G-string is a little bit of a challenge. There's probably a few different ways to do it. This is just the way I've found to do it is make that loop and then uh, go ahead and tune it up. So anyways, that's the way I do it. Maybe some of you guys have a better way to do it, but this is what I recommend. Again, if you have any questions about your bases, uh, don't hesitate. You can email me at mike at kaliukulele.com with any questions. Uh, we'll continue to do some more videos and get uh, more information up there for you guys. Um, and uh, thanks for spending the time. We'll talk to you later.